Complexities are the catalyst for chaos. Cosmic players are at hand. Creations, nightmares. You must choose as this is of your own making. Reach higher above, higher than the low-lying clouds where the air is clean and nothing is shadowed. If lower densities and vibrations are holding you back, you must let go, release, transmute. This is for your good to strengthen you so you can identify what is and what is not. Perceptions. From what side? Perceptions lead to judgments. Judgments lead to separation. Why do you choose this? Division reflects polarization. You should be beyond that. Do you render judgments? Do you declare who is guilty and who is innocent? It is different masks, but in reality, it is not the truth. When you assess guilt, you are only looking at your face in the mirror. The faces may change, but it is still a reflection of you. That's why it is said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Do not point outwardly when it is about you inwardly. You cannot have enlightenment when you judge. Don't get caught in this trap because you will only see with your eyes and not with your heart. Does not God see the heart of man? That is what you are called to do without partiality or judging. When you judge, you are not in your heart. Then you try to justify and determine why actions were so. This is not love. Stop activating your mind. You will only wrestle through logic and that does not bring peace. You would be better off walking in circles as that is the same thing. Love does not judge. Those you say have a warrior spirit who judge are not. They are of the world. The greatest warrior spirit is one who chooses the path of life and love. Love never fails. Love is never wrong. Love is above all. It destroys the illusion. Love is the only truth and the only thing that will remain. All else is lies and illusions. You tend to view love incorrectly as only a feeling. Yes, it can be felt, but it is more than that. It is a state of being, a creative force that knows no bounds constantly expanding in consciousness, seeking more of itself. It is a power that draws itself and does not repel, drawing itself to itself. It is expansion and awareness. It is creation at its most beautiful point. Look at the sunrise and sunset. Are they not beautiful? How about life and death, birth and rebirth, as a butterfly? Just for the moment, 
becoming all things, and then no more, only to be born again. Life, experience, love, expansion, awareness, it is all the same thing. If not seen this way, then you are living in an illusion that will vanish, as it has no substance. It was never real to begin with. Loving awareness is truly the key. The parting of the Reed Sea was about the way of escaping the waters of chaos. You are the staff of authority. You can separate the waters of chaos from yourself. You then only see them instead of being a part of them. You are set apart from it. Command it, know it, be it, see it. Loving awareness embraces it, but does not have to partake of it. When you resonate to the frequency of infinite love, all else fades. You are peace and shalom. Nothing is either good nor bad. It just is, then and only then, will you understand what it means to hold your shalom.